journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Here, we're going to take a look here at the E-mini S&P over the last two weeks, well, last 10 days. Let's try that again, Larry. Last, uh, Let's make it 10. Just move it over a little bit there. That gets you into 10 days. You can see we've taken out the highs here of the 28th of May, uh, which was not unexpected. We had this ABCD that we're looking at at 53.55. We're at 53.49. Now, remember, the NASDAQ has shattered the ABCD and it's gone up and made new highs. So this is uh, lagging a little bit behind, but the Dow Jones is lagging sharply behind. I should bring this up to you. In fact, I mentioned in the video, folks, let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. This is what we were looking at last night. I'll bring it up to you. You can see there was the ABCD that we're looking at last night right up there at 389. We sent that out about, uh, it must have been about 2 o'clock in the morning to watch for that. And it had a, it dropped three hundred dollars and went up or three hundred bucks, and then went up three hundred bucks. So you know you certainly want to take some profits in here. You know I would say at least down in here somewhere once it went above the three eight two, because if you listen, folks, we all know this. If you're risking five hundred dollars on a trade and you make twice of that, that is your your second second unit. First unit is five hundred dollars. Second unit is a thousand dollars. All right. Well, it comes straight down. Now, this is the AI program that I'm looking at. Look at this. We're making new highs now in the NASDAQ, the S&P, and uh, this is not going anywhere. This pullback that we had this morning after this stopped exactly at the 382. It came up, and it's still backing off. So I don't know if it's going to go down the rest of the day or not, but at least if you shorted that one up here at the 78% level, you have your stop at break even now, and that's about all you can do. There, you, can, you don't have any control over it. Now, that's the good news. Let's get to the bad news. Folks, those of you who have been following me for a long time, let me get this out of the way here and uh, put in Cascade so I can see it. I want to show you our uh, the bean oil trade because this has been – a not a good trade, folks. I know uh, we uh, thought we were going to have a winner here, but it just didn't work out. We bought it at 45.05. We got stopped out at 44.05, and it's getting ready to make new lows now. So what we'll be watching is we'll be watching for the new lows when they come in around 42.50. That's only a one and a half handle from where we are right now. We'll be looking at it again. The only other choice that we have is this could possibly be a double bottom. I don't think that it is. And let me give you my two cents worth why I think that. Because I've been trading grain since, uh, very heavily since 1962 when I was in grad school. Because corn you know, corn was trading for a dollar, dollar twenty a bushel, folks, and the margin on it was six hundred dollars. Hold on here a second. We'll get up the wheat because that's the one I really want to show you because I'm more bullish on wheat than I am anything else. But this is the wheat chart. Uh, but this is a shorter, this is an hourly going over the last month. But if we look at this going back farther, we'll go all the way back to uh, this level here. You can see there's your December wheat, and here's your 382 pattern coming in here today, folks, at three at uh, 693, okay? 693, and it's trading at 693. Folks, if I can't buy this pattern right here at 693, I should take the charts and just throw them out into the river and hopefully it gets to the Mississippi before I have to look at it again. Unfortunately, the Rito River here in uh, Tucson doesn't go any farther than uh, Green Valley where it stops. There's your three. There's a perfect Gartley pattern at a 382. You know, the whole world wanted to buy it up here. Nobody wanted it here. Remember when we were looking at it? It looked so great down in here. Now look at where we are with the 382. We've taken out the lows here. And this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So buy some wheat here, 693. Become a farmer. 
you know, take out that change person, buy a couple of contracts or one contract. You only have to risk 693. You put a stop at uh, 688. You put a stop here. Let's just type it in here so you can see it here. I shouldn't be giving these on the air here because uh, uh, 688 would be the stop. So you're risking 250 bucks. And anyway, that's what you want to be. Uh, that's what you want to be looking at. Okay, very very important to uh, to do that. It's my opinion, of course, and opinions are often wrong. I'm often wrong, as I say, but never in doubt. That's Christmas wheat, December wheat, folks. Look at this on the daily, and you'll see where we are. There's our 382 right there, folks. Going back to where we were way back here. If you can't, oh, why does that one say? 685. Oh, I took it off this one. That's what I did. Sorry. I took the low of April, not the low of March. I should do both. But this is the one I did it on right here. And there it is right there. And That's where I'd be looking to be a buyer. There's also that Gartley there. So that's a, to me, that's a, that's a certainly a doable pattern. Uh, let me see now. We had a question here about the corn. Let's get the, the, the December corn here is right here. We gave up on corn about three days ago, if you remember. Uh, Monday, actually. Is, uh, Tuesday is where we gave it up. Today's Wednesday. Hmm, didn't, know I, didn't know I was that good in mathematics, but I am. Remember, we bought it right here at 65, okay? And we got out of it at 62. It's now trading at 459. It's going lower. It's probably going to go down at least to this level right here, which is another four or five cents lower. We might look at it then, but that's that's all you have to risk on this. You become a farmer for 150 bucks, and you can't beat that. That's the easiest way to do it when you're trading. It's not about how much money you make, folks. It's about how much money you don't lose, and therein lies the key. Very, very important to remember that. All right, now let's take a look at a couple others. Now, remember, we were short the crude oil for a considerable. Let's get this chart so I can see them all together. And, um, okay, get the layout, and, oh, I don't want to do that. Just want to, get, I want to cascade these. Hold on, I want to bring the crude oil, so, crude oil so you can see. If you remember, we were telling you that you get out of our short crude. We've been really hitting this thing from the short side. Really good, folks. You remember, we hit that beautiful 382 up here. We made almost made the ABC down in here. I said to cover it yesterday. The reason why is the distance between 72.61 and 72.26 is $350. Folks, now you see it's rallied over a dollar a barrel. All I was doing here is it was at the 127. And why would I, why would I, why, look, it's already ready to take out the high yesterday already. So why I didn't want to give any money back because it's silly because you had an ABCD there and you don't know how far it's going to go up or down. So you got to book some profit somewhere. This was a really good one, folks. You know, seven handles in the in the crude oil is seven thousand dollars, and we weren't risking very much. Looking at this now on the short term basis, you can see here we've got a little bit of a pattern forming now, but we've got a three eight two over here. You're going to bring it over to this level right here. We're going to get there pretty soon. Now, this is going to be a legitimate 3A2. Let's just make sure I got that one right. Yeah, you got to take this one. This is a better high than that one. Hold on a second here. So your 3A2 is going to be off of this number right there. And that brings you up here 74, only 80 points away. And that will be an ABCD. There's your ABCD. Your risk doesn't have to be very much. And you have to admit, folks, this has been in a downtrend. No question about it. We got to pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. 
For this month only, enter code LARRYJUNE24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've been asked to take a look at uh, Tesla. We're still waiting to see Tesla get down to 155, I believe. That was a number. We're waiting to see. Let's get the daily up so we can see it easily. And there it is right there, 155. We made a lower low today. We're actually up on the day now, but I still believe this is the objective we're looking at here uh, in Tesla. Also, we had a request for two other stocks. Let's do those while we have this on the air here. Uh, Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, let's get that up here. This should be going nuts to the upside, and it is. It's making new highs on the year, as you can see, and it is going up quite a bit. Let's get the daily up, because remember, when we were down at 164, folks, remember 164 down in here? This is where we had the ABCD pattern, ABCD setting right there, making new lows from November and not going anywhere. I mean, gapping down, making new lows, you can't no selling at all and then the market explodes and we had that 174 million share day market up back to just backed off to the 382 and then boom look at this boy it's getting ready to really rock in fact we have if you like ABCDs and we do let's just get this volume thing out of here because I only use that when it's making all-time highs and I will clean some of this out because it's all done, delete all. We have a little ABCD forming here, folks, if you like ABCDs. And I certainly do. There's the AB. There's the CD that comes in at 198. The high today has been 196 and a half, uh, six and three quarters. There's a smaller ABCD here. You can see A. You see, whenever you make a lower low like this, folks, that sets up another move to that move and this is why it's important this is why you want to come on to our show on uh, friday the 14th when we do live trading you'll get some of these little tricks that we have so there's the hourly chart okay now you can see the big abc a b c d but you don't see this little one you see there's a little one too because you make that lower low than that one by just a little bit right and that's going to get you to that secondary pattern but the reason why this is important is because if you mark this off from the low that we made here to the high we made here, uh, it must be this one. I, I saw it as a 382 automatically, so 
just does it automatically. There's your, see, there's your 382, hits it uh, yesterday twice, and now we're going higher. We're almost up there to where it should run into a little bit of trouble. There's your 1.618. That's the double ABCD. Remember that we just looked at right here? And there it is, 97. There's where it's going, to probably tomorrow. Keep an eye on it, maybe today. But that's what we're paying attention to here uh, with Apple. Now, we had a question about the euro. You remember, folks, we mentioned the euro because it was making such a very, very important ABCD pattern yesterday. And this is where we were looking. Let's get this. This is a 60 minute, so we got to get this open like this, spread it out a little bit. Here's the one we were watching for today. There was our high right at the 78% level, right there. See that? You came, stopped. There was your 618. There was your 78% level, and bang, down it came. That's why these numbers, see, there's your 618, there's your 786. Very, very important, folks. It's, uh, well, it is important if you look at uh, risk control stuff, and that's what these numbers will, will really help you with. What this is telling us is that we're probably getting ready to head down towards the old level of 108.33, that's down about another four or five hundred dollars. But let's take a look here at the yen and the dollar because this is the one that is affects our stock market by quite a bit. And we'll get this up here in just a short period of time and take a quick look at it. So here it is. This is the one that we said this get ready because it's getting ready to take a tank. And you can see what happened today, folks. There's where we were yesterday. There's your A B C D pattern right there. Absolute beautiful Gartley. We'll just draw it in. So you can see it without any trouble at all. There's your X, A, B, C, D, right at, well, just a tad above the 786. You see the difference between the 786 and the 0.84 is uh, 20 pips, which is nothing. But look at this. You see how it comes down? And we have a call. Oh, my goodness. Somebody got through. I can't believe it. Let's see who it is. Jeff from uh, New Jersey. Jeff, how are you, my friend? Yes, sir. Doing great. How are you, Larry? Fine. What can I help you with? Uh, there's a stock symbol, CART, C-A-R-T. It's uh, Instacart is the product. Uh, I'm okay. pretty sure I see a nice-looking Gartley, uh, and you could also uh, say it's a 382 trade on the daily, the CART daily. Oh, oh it's you, on the daily? Uh, okay, let's your, get this up here. If you pull your uh, time slide back to about January 9th, that's okay. the uh, X point for the Gartley. Okay, right back here, January. Oh, it's it's yeah. in a buy mode. You mean yeah? This is uh, it's it's making a perfect buy uh, right now. I think it's right at the six one eight, isn't it, Jeff? Uh, well, it right it's kind of in between the uh, six one eight 50, and the fifty percent. Yeah, in fifty, it sure is. Let's see, you've got a um, you've got several things. You're right at the fifty percent. So what I would do, looking at this, you've got an A B C D. We've already exceeded it to the downside. We already know that that would have come in here somewhere. See, there's your A B C D. Yep. Because that is just a little bit higher than that. Then we have the little rally here at the 382. We'll just go to the hourly, and that'll pinpoint this for us. I think that's what you were trying to get to. Let's double check. See, here's we've been coming down really good from 39 to 30. Okay, this is just a, a history of 382s. There's your first one. There's your second one. There's your third one. So you're down in an area where you really got to pay attention to it because just using that from the high. You see, we're very, very close now. We're within about uh, two, three bucks of getting to that, you know, level right here of twenty-seven sixty-four. That's what I'd be looking at, Jeff. Twenty-seven sixty-four. Okay. But That'd it's holding great. this. It's holding this level relatively well. So, but I think it's still got a chance to go lower. Don't forget, Jeff. I'm often wrong, but never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I look to you for so confidence, if nothing else. Yeah, I know, I know you do. God bless you. I might be back there to see you <laughs> during a July. I've got to go back to to be at a birthday party and visit a couple of elderly friends and stuff. So if I get that back to New Jersey, I'll give you a call and we'll go out and have lunch or something. Okay? Yes, sir. Please, please do. Thank okay. you. You bet. All right, Larry. Well, thanks for your time. I'm going to watch this uh, Instacart uh, chart. Looks pretty good. Okay. All right, let's move on, folks, talking about this uh, Japanese yen. Here was the key right here, folks. Now, remember, this is an hourly chart. So there's your little ABCD pattern right here. This is where we were yesterday when we were on the show talking about it, okay? By the way, folks, today would have been Jim Twentyman's 
80th birthday, folks. He died two months ago today, believe it or not. I still can't believe it. But there's your uh, there's your 382 retracement right here. And bang, there, and it makes the objective. You can see that. And then it'll rally back. You should be looking at about a 61% retracement. It should stop right there. And look at the high of the day. Exactly 61%. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to have in the house here in 50 seconds, we're going to have... Grace Morris, my dear friend and uh, pre pre what do you, a prestigious uh, astrologer. I'll tell you, those people know more about astrology than I have ever even dreamed about. I'm, I'm afraid of it. I only know one thing, folks, and you know what that is, so not going to worry too much about it. We had one other question about the British pound. I still think the British pound is heading lower. Uh, let's just get this up here. You'll see here. See, it's never made a new high. It just, just still went up there. It's never stopped us out. I mean, 2790, the high has been uh, 2805. I mean, and now it's got a profit again. So this is still looking okay. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't hold it. Look, it made a higher high that day, a higher high that day. Our stop was here. We're only risking $300. Now we got $150. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with G Grace Morris out of Florida. Where do you live in Florida, sweetie? Um, my office is in um, Boca Raton. Oh, yeah, that's a fancy where all the rich people live. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grace, Grace before, 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 yeah. before we... Before. <laughs> I was just going to say start in Chicago and uh, uh, work with traders from the Chicago Board of Trade uh, 30 oh, okay. years ago. <laughs> I remember all the seminars you used to do. We did. You know. We did. <laughs> do you ever think we'd do another some, one of those seminars just for old time's sakes? You know, oh, there's not too was, many of us still alive. But. We went all around the world, Singapore, yeah. Australia, yeah, yeah. and London, and Chicago was the start yeah. of it all. <laughs> yeah, it was a packed house all the way too. I remember all of them. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, many so, of, you were so many of them have passed of away. Grace, we got a chart up here of a. This is Priceline, isn't it? Well, that's right. And uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, secret formula that I figured out some years ago that uh, any uh, uh, stock, IPO, the uh, corporation chart, if it has a combination of Sun, Jupiter, Pluto in any combination, uh, these are the ones that uh, really. Uh, uh, take off and they're uh, trading uh, in huge numbers. They go over a thousand dollars a share, and uh, so I pulled the original uh, price line because that's where I really discovered it. And you can see there's the Sun Jupiter exact conjunction training Pluto, and that's the formula. And that stock, when I first put it in my uh, stock market newsletter, at uh, one hundred and fifty-one dollars a share. And now it's over three thousand dollars. So uh, it, the formula works. And when I find something that really works, it's been uh, for over twenty-five years working on the stock market news newsletter. I know it's yeah. pretty good. I have a I have an interesting story about Priceline. You know, I worked at Drexel Burnham from '76 to '82, and one of the brokers <laughs> really? there had uh, Bill Shatner as his account. And they they were good friends, and they're still good friends. They're both in their 90s now. And okay. I happen to know when this stock was first issued in '99. You remember, Shatner was the one who was the promotion guy for it, and he he wouldn't take any money. He took stock. Why? <laughs> and, <laughs> and of course, he didn't need the money. But boy, that's been a a big player for it. He's in he's he's, he's on the you know the two ball of time every Friday on Unexplained, a show that's on, I always watch. But, you know, for a guy 92, he's really looks great, and he's had a pretty good life, and uh, he's a it's pretty nice wonderful. fellow. I only met him one time. I didn't know him very well. just met him <laughs> once at a cocktail party, and but he's a real super nice guy. Grace, you've been talking about the NASDAQ, and, of course, you just made new highs about 10 minutes ago and continues to do so. But the question that I have is the mm – -hmm. um, do, do you see any place where there might be some type of a pullback in any of these stocks no, at all? No, and no. No, <laughs> no, no. In a no. market, <laughs> and uh, for all the naysayers, about every uh, third or fourth uh, issue of the newsletter, I say, okay, naysayers, it's been <laughs> too long, <laughs> and uh, you're going to have to recognize that the economy is in good shape. And the uh, stocks are absolutely a great buying point. And I identified the Magnificent Seven way back when, so a lot of my subscribers and clients are very happy, especially with NVIDIA, uh, which yeah. also has the formula. And yeah, uh, we've, we've made a major switch this month into uh, sectors. And last month I began uh, putting in the aviation sectors and they're up uh, 27%, 23%, 20%. Um, HWM, Aero, and uh, FTAI Aviation. And you can see the shift now if you look at IBD and the, the uh, sectors going up and down. We've, uh, I pulled out uh, cosmetics, food, and uh, they were no longer going to be the great producers and instead were into uh, transportation, communication, information, technology, and for the next year. Wow. That's really something. You've done a great job. Now, if the folks want to uh, 
reach you? What's the, what's the best place that they can uh, well, they thank can reach you? you? <laughs> and the uh, my website is astroeconomics.com. Okay, listen, I'm gonna, I want to have you uh, back on the uh, show pretty good, and be sure to tell your lovely daughter I said hello, okay? Oh, I will definitely do that. <laughs> and ask for, if you come on the website, ask for a free copy of this month's issue of the newsletter. Thank you so much, Larry. You bet, Grace. Love to see. If I ever get down to Florida, we'll get together, okay? It sounds good. Keep up the okay. good work. <laughs> oh, yeah, I try to stay alive. I, I, I'm like you. I love this. I mean, I wake up in the morning Absolutely. seven days a week, and that's all I like to do. So thank God I'm able to do it. Okay, folks, yeah. thank you very much, Grace. God bless you, thank dear. Thank you, Larry. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, folks, we'll be right back here. We'll get up with these charts again, see where we are. Uh, let's see where we are. This is the Dow Jones. This is the Dow Jones. You see, it hasn't made new highs. It's made some lower highs in here. You can see this last... You know, this is short term, but, you know, it works on short term, long term. You can see we had a little ABCD pattern here. Now we're starting to roll over just a tiny bit, but uh, it is weaker than the rest of them. If we look at this on the hourly chart, you can see the weakness. See, we never even made this high up here, folks. I mean, this is what we're this. Is the, remember, stop and think now. The S&P is up here. OK, in an, almost in new high ground. The Nasdaq is in the stratosphere. And look at the Dow Jones, how it's lagging. All it could do was take out the previous day's high. Now, let's get over here. And uh, oh, dear. You know what? I forgot. Just a second. I forgot that I had I had her on just a second. And uh, don't ever let an Italian have a mouse and a computer both together not a good thing so let's get it up here and then we'll be seeing here's the dow jones see the this is where it should have gone to today at 390 3901 it only got to 38.9 taking out the previous day's high by virtually nothing then it had a sell-off of 300 points then a rally back of 280 points and now it's setting at that smaller pattern right here so like i said in the a video that I sent out last night, I said, that's the one you want to be selling. If you're going to sell it around this 38, what it was doing there, just looked at it, go to an hour, uh, go to a 30 minute chart and you'll be able to see when you get into a magnifying glass, you'll be able to see that we had a very nice little ABCD pattern that was forming and it fit out very nicely. So we'll just draw this in from the previous day. Let's get this in here, right here. There's your ABCD leg. And it should have come in right there at 388935, and it came within 10 points. So right now it's moving down a little bit lower. Let's take a break here, and we'll be right back. We've got to cover some currencies, folks, because the currency is getting ready to have some pretty big moves here, looking at this U.S. dollar, silver, and gold. We need to cover those, too. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, 
gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, before we get to the currencies, we're going to take a look here at the E-mini S&P. Uh, the ABCD measures at 43.55, as you can see here. We just hit 43.50. Uh, it's only five points away, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Now, we had a big sell-off here. We sold off 30 points when the uh, one of those reports that came out this morning. Well, you can see it here going down to a smaller time frame. This, this was the big sell-off. Now, isn't that a huge sell-off? Now, those of you that follow what we teach here, you'll never guess what that was. Does anybody want to guess? Johnny, put that card down. Everybody knows it's 382. Hold on here. We'll put this up here from the last low to the high. To the exact tick, 5306, where all of our buy buy orders were filled, and of course, away it runs to the upside. All right, now let's get on with the cash S and P because they are saying on Bloomberg that the cash S and P has just made a new high, and I do not believe that because SPY, the spider, is the ETF for the S and P, and it has not made a new high from way back here on May the 23rd. That high came in at 3, 534. The high today has only been 533, so it's missed it by a whole point. A whole point is worth 10 points in the S&P, so if it gets the next 10 points, the S&P would get up there way above 30, uh, 50, 355, and that's it. Folks, remember now, the S&P has been up now uh, 150 handles from the low that we made on Monday. Hello, operator. I mean, that's not a very that's not very bearish, but I'm just showing you all these different patterns, these ABCDs. That's what I know, and I live and die by it. So let's pay attention to that as we look at some of these others here. Now, let's take a quick look here at the uh, gold because uh, this is related to the dollar index and strength. Let me get this up here on the uh, smaller time frame because we had a really good buy in it this morning. Here is the gold earlier in the morning now alrighty now this is the this is when the report came out here folks right there is when the report came out now the one thing you want to be able to do is when this report came out remember we believe the stuff that was done by Andrew Lowe remember markets repeat and they do the same thing over and over again and if you remember the last correction we had in gold was uh, a roughly uh, uh, Twenty uh, sixteen dollars and the harmonic number seventeen, and there it is, almost exactly again. But what's more important, if you took the low just like we did in the S and P, and went to the high right there, guess that low there at fifty four, and that's down twelve dollars, just like this one was twelve dollars. Let's see if this one was a three eight two. No, this was a little bit more. This was this was fifty percent. I can tell. Yeah, this was fifty percent. This was your 382, and that tells you where your top is. There it is right there, 1.618. There's A, B, C, D. That'll be the one for me. Let's just draw it in, make sure we can see it here. There's A, B, 
equals CD, and there it comes in there at two, two, 2375, and the high has been 2377. We're now trading at 2372, so let's keep an eye on the, that one, okay? Uh, let's move on now. We've already did the euro. We've done the pound. We've done the yen. I want to take just a moment to look at something we haven't seen in a while in the currency basis. Hold on. Just the Australian dollar. This is related to exports, folks. And I will tell you that still looking good for the Australian dollar is related to the exports because it's not backing off. It can't even make a 382 retracement, folks. So people are still going to be eating food. The fact that we are in a uh, the second, this is what, the fourth day, fifth day of the growing season. We're making new lows in soybean oil, new lows, almost new lows in corn. Uh, wheat has only made a 382 retracement. Folks, I've been doing this stuff for 62 years. I've never been in a, in a year where we don't have at least two, possibly three or more scares related to weather. And we all know what climate change is. Well, some of us do, some of us don't. Anyway, it, climate change means, folks, the climate does change. That's what it means, all right? It's been very cool here in Tucson, folks. We've only had, it's all during April and May, we had 100-degree day, and we've only had our second, two days in a row now, we've been over 100 degrees here in Tucson. But 100 degrees for me is like 80 degrees for somebody in New Jersey or in Florida because it's a, a dry heat, as the skeletons always say. Anyway, here's what we're watching here. Watch the Australian dollar just in case it pulls back one more time to this level here at around 65.80. That's down about 800 bucks from where it is right now. So it's a very, very powerful currency. You can see it has huge ABCD moves through here, and it's something that is related to some of the crop stuff that we're, that we're looking at. Because people are going to continue to eat. Remember what John Kenneth Galbraith said to us when I was in graduate school in Indiana? He said, oil is indigestible. And that is the truth. The grains they have to eat, but, you know, they can't eat crude oil and you can't eat heating oil and you can't eat gasoline. Some people have tried, but it's not very good. All right, let me double check to make sure I have, haven't missed anything on today's program. I want to get the cascade out here. I probably missed something. I did crude oil, Australia. Ah, the market that never stops going up, the bondolis. Let's get this up right here. Here's the daily chart in the bonds. Remember, folks. There is the bond chart right here. We're looking at a price level up into this level here, possibly 120. There was your 78% pullback right in here. Folks, you can say whatever you want, but this is not a bull market in bonds, all right? This is just a, a correction. Look at this on the weekly. If you think this is a bull market in bonds, hello, operator, not at all. See, this is all we're doing now is making this, this little ABCD pattern right here. There is... Absolute, well, there is a way, I guess, uh, the Federal Reserve can just print it for, for what they can, or print forever. But if they do, interest rates are going to have to go higher because as you print more bonds, prices in the bonds go down. When I started trading bonds in 19, this is when they started trading at the, at the Board of Trade in 76, the uh, September of 76, the bonds were trading at 56. It was a 6% coupon bond. That means that that bond was trading at 11.5%. And you could buy California AAA paper, AAA folks, tax-free for 16%. That was a 32% tax bracket if you were in a 50% tax bracket. Unfortunately, they were callable. In the two years, they called them away as interest rates started to go down. And they've been coming down from 76 all the way up to when they topped three and a half years ago on the monthly chart right here when they were telling us there's a big three drive to a pattern, <laughs> three drive to a bottom, three drive to a top pattern. Let's try it one more time. Drum roll, please. Remember this, folks. This is when they told us about negative interest rates, the greatest thing ever to hit the financial markets. And I laughed at that one. I said, please give me a break. There's your 382 retracement on the way down. Of course, we've had other patterns on the smaller time frame that have worked out fairly good, especially on that weekly. You know, we've had some really beautiful patterns here that you all know about, especially this one here back two years ago, the 3135 pattern right here. There's the 382. Folks, this isn't over. Just stay tuned, folks. More, to, more is coming. That's all I can say. 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, we've got just a couple more minutes to go. Uh, tomorrow's show, I will be here uh, Thursday and Friday. I'm going to go to uh, Las Vegas uh, Friday afternoon to visit my good friend Tom Hugard, who's giving a seminar there in a four-hour talk over there in uh, Las Vegas. And I was going to stop and say hello to him and a couple other friends, and I'll be back uh, back early Sunday morning. So I'll be doing my show Thursday and Friday as usual. And then, of course, next Friday, uh, a week from today, we are going to have the uh, week, week from Friday, boys and girls. On the 14th, we're going to do another one of our uh, day trading uh, classes that we do. It's not a class. It's there to make money. I mean, we're that's what we try to do. We've been pretty fortunate over the other eight that we've done. This will be the ninth one in the last uh, five, five years, I believe. And now we're doing two a month just to get people interested in what uh, some of these things do on a shorter term basis because the patterns work. Just this is a weekly chart right here. If we look at this, you know, and say a 13-minute uh, chart, you're going to see same types of patterns all the way up. You see, just everything has just been straight bullish here for the last seven days. From, from we were setting at the 78% level, 
right here on the 14th, and here we are making new highs now. One, two, three, four, five, six days up, you know, making a new high. And uh, basically, you know, you're just kissing this downtrend line. So like I said before, this isn't over, folks. I mean, this is a really bearish chart. This happens to be just a really strong rally, just like this rally was really strong, and yet it gave back $12,000. So you just remember, what goes up must come down, because the easy way to do it is to try to control what your risk is, and you'll always be okay. So do one thing for me, folks. Make sure that you do something nice for your neighbors because not everyone is uh, fortunate we are. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.